Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a little Q&A. I am taking questions submitted by Tustin patrons and answering them here in this forum. And today's question comes from Jason Sz. Uh, Jason wants to know, do you ever lament that you're a generalist when it comes to maker skills instead of devoting all your mind and resources to becoming a master at one particular thing? He says, I know I do. Jason, that's a really interesting question. Sure, yes, sort of. It's a great question um, because absolutely, there's no one who would like to be able to like pick up a guitar or play the piano more than I would love to be able to do that. But I also know how many years of training it would take to get there. Not necessarily years of training. I could certainly take up piano as an adult and I strum the guitar a little bit, but you're asking about, do I feel like I should have spent my time devoted to one thing. See, because I want to separate this out. I love gathering skills. And I don't just love gathering skills. So one reason I love gathering skills is because every skill is, as I like to describe it, an arrow in my quiver with which I can use to solve a different kind of problem. And the more versions of solutions I have, the farther and wider I can look for the correct solution for the problem I'm solving right now. And I love having that taxonomy of solutions in my head. But I also love gathering skills for another reason, because I find all skill gathering to be pleasurable. And not just pleasurable because I'm achieving some new thing with that skill, but because as I take a skill and, Im and imbue myself with it, because that's really what happens with a skill. You, uh, I shot a thing last year with Zoe Bell, the stunt woman, actress, director, I think in reverse order, director, actress, stunt woman, extraordinaire, and a really good friend of mine. And Zoe's just a, a powerhouse. And one of the things I loved about what she talked about stunt work was, we were teaching her how to drift in a car and she was like, she had to learn she had to learn the skill both in her mind and in her body. And those were two separate operations. She had to physicalize it. And I feel the same way. Um, but even more than that, there's a way in which when you first look, look at a skill, and let's take chess, for example. Chess is a set of pieces to understand. It is a set of moves to learn. And you can play chess just by understanding which the pieces are and what moves they do. You could play a game of chess just by knowing that. And then you can play more chess and you can get better and you can start to learn some of the philosophy of chess. Then once you understand the philosophy of chess, you can start to learn the, 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 how those philosophies apply. And you play a few hundred games or a few thousand games. You start to learn how to play an opponent, which is different than playing in a vacuum. You start to learn strategy and not just strategy of the moves, but strategy against the person. And I'm saying this, I didn't go through all this with chess. I'm saying I understand that this is what happens with a chess player. And there comes a point where the board ceases to become a set of pieces with possible moves in front of them, and it becomes a mood, it becomes a gesture, it becomes something more abstract to the professional chess player. And that moment where all of these separate pieces coalesce, piano players have told me, at a certain point, playing the piano stops being 88 keys and starts being just movements that happen from your body. And while I haven't experienced that sensation with chess or with piano playing or with any specific skill that I currently have, I still get that feeling because for me, my skill is that I'm a generalist. Now, I, I don't mean, I, I'm not being facetious here. I'm actually being 100% correct. Uh, sorry, I'm being 100% precise with my language. My skill is that I'm a generalist. And it has taken me a long time, actually, to come to terms with the fact that I, I believe I'm a master of that craft in my life, at this stage of my life, me right now. I, it's not a, 
it, it, it's not an appellation I'm looking to the outside to bestow upon me, but I understand when it comes to setting and achieving goals for the complexities of the things that I like to make in here, I have over the past year seen a progression that makes it clear to me that I have elevated my generalism to a, to a level that I can achieve objects, I can make things that have never before occurred to me and that, that, that were not in my grasp as a young maker. Or, yeah, they weren't until they were. So I started out this, I started out answering your question um, by saying, you know, of course I am not a master at anything. But I think that's wrong. I think my quiver is full of a lot of amazing arrows. And as long as my brain is still functioning, touch wood, that goes on for another 30 or 40 years, uh, all that information is here as a, as a giant and amazing pool of knowledge to draw from. And I'm so grateful for that knowledge. I'm grateful for all the circumstances and jobs and long days and all-nighters and friends and colleagues and directors and producers and situations that have put me into places where I learned and I learned about my materials and I learned about deadlines and I learned about delegation and I learned about people but most of all through all of that I learned about myself and still continue to. So no I don't have any regrets about not having taken one of my skills all the way. Um, the phrase master of, sorry, jack of all trades, master of none, that's half the phrase. The other half of the phrase, as those of you who know me know, is jack of all trades, master of none, though often better than a master of one. And we found this on Mythbusters. We found our most reliable uh, and informed experts were the ones who understood cross-disciplinary aspects of their discipline. They understood how it plugged into all these other disciplines. And I'm not denigrating specialization because we all have to choose our path and some of us want to specialize. That's completely reasonable and realistic and understandable. I'm not saying my way is the better way by any stretch of the imagination. It is the way that I have chosen and it's the way that I have developed. Um, I used to have, I wrote this monologue for one of my stage shows where I made a joke that I'm the patron saint of mediocrity. <laughs> Which is, I'm making a kind of a salieri joke there. Uh, but, you know, uh, that introspection that comes from the widening of one's perspective. Because you're going to face down a lot of things when you are trying to get great at something. But the biggest thing you're going to be facing off against is yourself. It's your own bias, your own proclivities, your own laziness and venality and jealousy and all those things that keep you from fully realizing yourself as a person. That got a lot bigger than I expected it would, but I really appreciate the question. Look, you can't affect the past. You can only affect the present based on what future you of what you can envision for future you. Uh, and there are a lot of people who did amazing things way late in life. If I could go back and tell my young self one, one thing, it's not use more cooling fluid, although I love that joke. It's you have more time than you think. Uh, you definitely have more time than you think. Raymond Chandler, didn't write his first book until his 40s. Gabriel Byrne was in his 30s and when he made his first movie, which was Excalibur. Um, oh my goodness, there are so many wonderful late bloomer stories. Um, I'm forgetting many of them right now off the top of my head because I haven't prepared for this, but you know, you have more time than you think. And if becoming a, 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 an expert at one of the things that you do is important to you, you can structure your life around getting to that goal. That's totally an, a, a, an achievable goal. Okay, I can go on for hours on this subject, but thank you so much for that excellent questions. Patrons, keep submitting your questions and I will continue to answer them in this forum. Thank you guys. See you next time.